Again, another open uh, video to business owners. There's uh, two scenarios that exist out there. There's the advisor and accounting world that may not fully understand or may not be able to offer you an IPP and therefore you don't have a chance to partake in it. And then there is the side that actually does understand it or over understands it and believes that everybody should be in an IPP. And that's not true. When I look at IPPs, you've got to have good, stable, free, clear cash because you're paying for CPP. You know, you've you got to have salary. So you're paying CPP, you're paying the health tax if appropriate, you're paying for your investment management fees, you're paying for your contribution. You've got to have some good, stable, free cash. You've got to be near or at what I call MPS, maximum pensionable salary. It's around 146000 in 2017. But you should have that in your mind. Maybe it's you've got to be closer to 200000 in free cash flow for yourself, that is, your, this year. Or if you're less than that, I always look for, do you have the first, second, and third year's contributions already sitting in a corporate cash account? So in the example I gave earlier, if you have 32, 34, and 36, that's over 100 grand. If you've got 100 grand sitting in free cash that you can dedicate towards your retirement to creating a predictable income stream, that's great as well. But qualify yourself and don't try and get into scenarios where you're just overextending yourself or you are never even imagining an IPP, but it sounded so good that you thought you should change your business for it. Please don't. If you've got good, stable, clear cash, and if you've got good cash flow, if not cash reserves, then really take a strong look at this. Talk to a trusted wealth professional. They'll be able to explain it to you. And there's a lot of short little videos here and some text, and you can go through them at your leisure. Thank you.